Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, before I am going to deliver my speech, let us express our gratitude to our God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for He has bestowed us abundant mercy. So, do do, do to those who are able to attend this monthly lecture. Peace and salutations. We ask for our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for his family, for his companions, and all of his ummah until Judgment Day. Today, I would like to talk about the story of the Prophet Musa alayhi salam. Prophet Musa alayhi salam is the most commonly mentioned prophet in the, in the Holy Quran. Prophet Musa was born at the time of Fir'aun, also known as Shara'o. In religion, Islam Musa alayhi salam is loved and respected because he alayhi salam is the prophet and messenger too. Muslims believed in all messengers and of Allah Almighty and holy books which were revealed on them. In the Holy Quran, Prophet Musa salam, is mentioned most of the time and his story ranges in several chapters of the Holy Quran. As we all know, the messengers of Allah Almighty were sent to convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the people of this world. Prophet Musa salam, was also sent to the people of Israel to make them worship to make them worship Allah Almighty and the holy which was revealed to him was Surah. In the Holy Quran, Allah Almighty says, Verily, we did send down the Torah to Musa. Therein was guidance and light by which the prophets who submitted themselves to God's will judged the Jews. And the rab and the rabbi and the priests too judged by, by the Jews by the Torah for them for to them was entrusted the protection of God's book. And they were witnesses there too. Quran, Quran Surah 5, Ayah 44. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the story of Musa alayhi salam and the Pharaoh in Quran is the truth. It is, it is a story of political conspiracy and of oppression that knew no bounds. In the Holy Quran, it is mentioned in this way. We recite to you some of the news of Musa and Pharaoh in truth for the people who believe. Verily, Pharaoh exalted himself in the land and made his people sex, weakening, oppressing a group, i.e. children of Israel, among them killing their sons and letting their females live. Verily, he was of those who commit great sins and crimes, oppressors, tyrants. Quran, Surah 28, Ayah 3 and 4. Below, we will describe the story of Musa alayhi salam in detail from the beginning of his birth, how he alayhi salam brought up in the house of Fir'aun and other events of his life. Musa alayhi salam was born at the time of Fir'aun, which was the most politically charged time of the, of the history. The Pharaoh, or Fir'aun of Egypt, was the dominant power in the land. He was so incredibly powerful that he reverted to himself as a god, and nobody were able to, to dispute this. He set up a class dis distinctions, divided the people into groups and tribes, to set them and set them against one another. The Jews, the children of Israel, were put at the lowest level of, of Egyptian society. They were the slaves and servants. The family of Musa salam, was from amongst the children of, of Israel. A short while before Prophet Musa salam, was born, Fir'aun was told that a boy from the Bani Israel would soon be born, at, those, at whose hands Fir'aun's kingdom would be destroyed. Upon hearing this, the cruel king ordered his soldiers that every male child born to the Bani Israel should be killed. The soldiers of Fir'aun periodically searched the houses of the Israelites so as to carry out Pharaoh's orders. Musa's alayhi salam's mother had prepared a plan for him. When she heard the approach of the soldiers, he stood the Musa alayhi salam out in his basket and placed him in the river Nile at behind of her house. In Holy Quran, it is mentioned in these words. So we send this inspiration to the mother of Musa. Shakal, thy child, but when thou hast fears about him, cast him into the river, but fear not, nor grieve. We shall restore them to thee, and we shall make him one of our messengers. Quran, Surah 28, Ayah 7. The basket in which Prophet Musa salam, was put in by his mother floated towards the palace of Fir'aun, where his man fished it out and brought the baby to him. He wanted to kill it immediately, suspecting that it might be 
a child of the Bani Israel, but, but his wife, Asia, who was a pious woman, stopped him by doing so. They did not have children of their own, so she asked him to adopt the child. Fir'aun agreed to his wife Asia's request and then called some woman to feed the crying child. Yet the baby refused milk from all the women who came to feed him, except his own mother. In this way, Allah Almighty rejoined mother and child in the palace of Fir'aun, who was the greatest enemy of her son. Prophet Musa salam, grew up in Fir'aun's home and was familiar with the state affairs. When he salam, reached adulthood, once involved in a fight between Israeli and an Egyptian, results in killing the latter recklessly. Prophet Musa salam, went to Madian where he married Safura, daughter of Prophet Suhaib salam. After, saying, after staying some time in Madian, he left to return to Egypt. On the way to Egypt in the severe winter night, Prophet Musa salam, and his wife, who had lost their way, saw a fire in the distance. Prophet Musa salam, told his wife to stay where she was and he went to the fire, thinking he would bring some of it, some, some of it back. When Musa salam, reached near the fire, he saw that the flames were coming from a green tree, but there was no one present. While Prophet Musa salam, looked around in surprise, he suddenly heard a voice saying, Oh Musa, I am your Lord. The voice then asked him to throw his stick onto the ground. At once it changed into a serpent, which scared him. Musa salam, was then commanded to lift the snake without any fear, any, any, and as he did so, it changed back into a stick. <clears throat> and then he was told to put his hand under his armpit. When he drew it out again, his hand glowed with a bright light like the sun. The divine voice said to him, Oh Musa, these are the two great sons of your Lord. Go back to Fir'aun and his people and invite them towards your Lord. After getting these signs from Allah Almighty, Musa alayhi salam went to the Fir'aun and told him that he alayhi salam is the messenger of Allah Almighty for that he has proofs. Musa alayhi salam threw his sticks on the ground and it changed into a snake. The miracle frightened Fir'aun and he turned to his ministers for advice. They told him that Prophet Musa alayhi salam was just a good magician, that their own magicians could easily perform such tricks. Then Fir'aun called all the great magicians to his court so that, it, so that they could do the same tricks as Musa alayhi salam did. When they were told what had to be done, they were not worried. They threw pieces of rope onto the ground, and these cords began to wriggle like snakes. But when Prophet Musa alayhi salam cast his stick down, his serpents ate all of the pieces of rope. The magicians immediately realized that this was no magic but a miracle, and prostrated, saying, We believe in the faith of Musa. Allah Almighty told, Musa, told Prophet Musa alayhi salam to warn Fir'aun that he would punish him and his people if they continue, continued in their ways and don't accept, it, accept your faith. But Fir'aun was too proud to listen to the warning. So for punishing him and his followers, the country was hit by famine. Swarms of locusts ate away the crops, the river, the river Nil flooded its banks, causing great destruction. The people were afflicted with lice and tumors. When all this happened, the people rushed to Prophet Musa salam, asking him to pray for their relief and promised to follow his religion. But when they were cured they, and the situation improved, they returned to, to their idol worship. Musa salam, gathered the people of Bani Israel and left to Palestine. When Fir'aun learned of their escape, he followed them with a huge army. When Musa salam, with people of Bani Israel reached the Red Sea, they saw Fir'aun approaching towards them and were and were and were sure that they were going to be killed. Yet Prophet Musa salam, struck the waters of the sea with a stick and the waters parted, making a dry path. The people crossed safely. When Fir'aun saw the path, he entered the sea at the head of his army. But while he was in the middle of the sea, the water suddenly closed around him and his men. In this way, Fir'aun and his army drowned and died in the ocean. That is all the history that I can deliver. Hopefully, it is gainful and inspiring for us, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran. There was certainly in their stories a lesson for those of an understanding. Never was the Quran a, a, a narration invented, but a confirmation of what before it, and a detailed explanation of all things and guidance and mercy for, our pe for, pe for the people who believe. Surah Yusuf, Ayah, Ayah 111. 
I am sorry if I had a mistake in my speech. And thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.